What's up guys? Welcome back for this new video. Today, doing the Hisui Cup. And today, I'm going to test out Overquill in the Hisui Cup. Overquill, it's a poison and dark type. It has poison sting as fast move and as aqua tail and shadow ball as charge move. I at least put those attacks on it. And it will be assisted by Gastrodon mm. and Driftlim and we will just see how this will go. In the Isui Cup. So into the first match against X G Ranger. Starting Overquill into Cresselia. Um yeah, this could be quite a good thing. Good lead. Because look at my energy generation already of a Shadow Ball. Opponent switches into Empellion. I have a very good response for an Empellion. Because I have my Gastrodon here. Opponent goes for she goes for Hydro Cannon. I can just tank that without problems. Um, no, I didn't. I won't be able to KO him, her. So just decided to go here for a um, body slam. She shields it. Not a problem at all. Maybe I can uh, go for some poison sting farm. So I will wait my switch timer a little bit. Switching into Overquill, and I can just go for Poison Sting Farm down without any problems. So that's perfect. Which Pokemon will she throw right now? She goes into Bestiodon. I have Aquatail, so yeah, it could be okay. Aquatail does okay, does okay amount of damage. I have still my Drifling for the Cresselia, so for me that's not really a problem. Aquatil. Um Still okay. Going for another Aquatil, seeing how this one will go. And just, yeah, I will just wait till she shields move. Oh, there's her shield. Going for another Aquatil. Yeah, the, yeah, because Overquill has Poison Sting, this thing is just so spammy. <laughs> With Aquatil, like a Trapian. She isn't even throwing a move here. So I can just go for another Aquatil. Yeah, maybe I could go for Shadow Balls. Maybe that was a little bit better, but no problem at all. Uh, yeah, she uh, goes at least for Stone Edge. Fortunately, I've ha I have the shield here, but... I've already won because she has no shields here and I've still Shadow Ball. So she can just hit me with her Moon Blast or something. That's fine. Hopefully not an attack lowerness. That could only be a bit terrible for me. But at least I'm going here for a Shadow Ball. This will almost KO that Cresselia. And only a Mystical Fire is enough to KO. She is still trying. Really like her confidence. Moonblast. Can just shield. Going for Mystical Fire. This time we got the attack lowerness, so pretty interesting. But this Mystical Fire, even with an attack lowerness, I'm just KOing her and winning the first match. So that's perfect. Maybe finally this will be a much better video than the previous two. So I hope. Um, right now into the second match. And guys, if you want to see more of this amazing content, definitely press the like and subscribe button. Because I really want to make it to 300 subscribers by the end of this month. So definitely press it. And right now we're going into quite of a twin lead. Because we have the same typings. Only I am... Uh, yeah, I think a little bit faster because he has bite on his uh, shadow scan tank. So maybe he will have a potential uh, yeah, uh, shadow trapion in his team. But yeah, we just have to see that. Going here for another aqua tail at least. Get shielded, perfect. Okay, he's going for a move finally as well. It's not a problem at all. Can just shield it crunch. Not getting an attack lowerness, that's perfect. 
going to farm a little bit more than expected. Going for an aqua tail. This will be, uh, yeah. Oh no, I cannot KO yet. Not a problem at all. Going just for another aqua tail. Overquill with po poison sting is just so spammy, so I don't really have a problem with this. And I KO the Shadow Scun tank, which Pokemon will the opponent throw. He's nicely going for uh, a Boma Snow. I don't want to get hit by a potential Leaf Blade, so yeah, I'm just offering my uh, Gastrodon completely. It's one hit KO, I know. One, two, that's three. Go for the Mystical Fire here. It will be able to KO that Shadow Glade. That's perfect. And I think a Mystical Fire from my side could be able to KO that Aboma Snow. If I'm right. I hope at least I'm right. Mystical Fire. 1 HP Aboma Snow. I can go for the Hex. Hex went through. Opponent cannot KO me here. But still. It went very great, once again. But yeah, it's sad that you, because this weekend there will be Hisuian Decidui raids, just a little raid day, and the Hisui Cup just ends tomorrow. So yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate or just, yeah. But Hisuian Decidui, I will make a video about that a little bit later, because there will be any it will not be a great league or something. But it will be pretty good because it has mm -hmm. Psycho Cut. Probably. <laughs> it says at least. So yeah, that could be quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And with Aerial Ace and Trouble Ace or Aura Sphere, you can do some quite some fun things with that. So really excited for that one. Uh, and that's my favorite Pokemon of the Hisuian region starter, so yeah. But right now into Gastrodon, into the third match. I will switch into my own Gastrodon. She is throwing a Munchlax. Um, pretty e interesting decision from her. I'm just going for the Earth Power. Just seeing uh, how she will respond to this Earth Power. Oh, hits that Munchlax. Really like that. Um, do I want to shield? No, you know I don't need to. Just a body slam. Maybe next body slam I will shield. Uh, at least he gives me a free mud uh, mud slap. Really appreciate that. She goes for another body slam. This time just shielding it and going for that mud slap farm down. She will throw at this point her own Gastrodon, going for the Earth Power. That's much better than that Body Slam. Earth Power, it's quite some damage. Can I make it to a Body Slam? No. Okay, that's okay, it's fine. I can just throw here a complete wall to Gastrodon. She's throwing uh, not a really nice Pokemon for me. She goes for Empelion. She will definitely shield this move. But okay, that's not really a problem at all. Shadow Ball will be shielded. Oh, she went nicely for a pretty huge farm down. At least I'm going here for a Shadow Ball. It will be shielded once again. I think she made it to a back-to-back. -back. Ooh, that could be quite annoying for me later on this match. She goes for Trill Pack. Can I win the CMP? No, I'm losing it. Ooh, that's quite awful because she goes right now for Hydro Cannon. Ooh, that definitely hurts. A lot. Um, Going for the Shadow Ball here. Yeah, that gets at least a KO. I think her Gastrodon can just farm me down at this point, or at least Body Slam or Earth Power me down. So, yeah. 
really nice plays from her. She goes for back to back. And another body slam. And that gets the KO. Really nice plays from her. Yeah, the only lead we don't want to see is potential uh, Empelion or like a Strodon lead. That's just awful mm. for my uh, Pokemon. For my Overquill. Other Pokemon are good. Like a Toxicrow, Gisui and Sneasler. Not, not a problem at all. Frostless is quite more of the interesting one because I own Shadow Ball on this thing. Oh, opponent is definitely straight up switching. Do I have a good response for this? I don't know, but at least I'm going here for a Shadow Ball. Opponent shields it. Not a problem at all. He goes for wild charge. Okay, he goes for back to back. That means, uh, if I'm right, five more of those sparks. That equals to another wild charge. This time I'm just going for an aqua tail here. Seeing how he will respond to this. Okay, he just commits the KO. Not a problem at all. But Overquill, I'm really enjoying him. Honestly. But right now going for an Aquatil. Okay, opponent at least shielded it. And I'm making a perfect catch on my Gastrodon. Oh, I really like that. Because I probably need my uh, Overquill for later. Opponent has to throw an Avalanche. Okay, he will throw his Avalanche right now. I don't think I can make to an Earth Power anymore. Oh no, he goes for Triple Axel. Ooh. It could end quite interesting because I'm going here for an Earth Power. This will deal quite some damage. Maybe already the gets the KO, but I don't know that. It gets the KO. Oh wow. I made one nice mud slap at that Toxic Croak. Going here for the Shadow Ball. This will definitely, I think already maybe the KO it gets. Almost 1 HP. And going for Poison Thing down, farm down. And I didn't even have to throw in my Triflim into this battle. But still, really nice play from the opponent. Um, we already have won three times, so that's nice. Into the last match of the first streak. Hopefully we will win this one as well. Mm. But we will see. But still I hope it is great. We're starting Overquill into Triflim. Mm, that's more of an interesting one, but I think I can outpace that Triflim pretty easily. Okay, he goes for a Mystical Fire or Icy Winds. Just a Mystical Fire. I can tank that without problems. Going here for Shadow Ball. Seeing how the opponent will respond to this move. Shadow Ball. Does quite some damage. Switching, making that catch on my Drift Flame. I hope it's the Mystical Fire. At least I got a Hex through the opponent. Opponent goes for Star Raptor. Okay, you win CMP, I could have thrown the Mystical Fire a little bit earlier, but it's fine, he may get the KO. Um, yeah, I think for me the best option is to throw in my Overquill here. I'm just going for an Aquatil. I think back to back is fine at this point. Equatil. Oh yeah, that does massive damage. So opponents will definitely if, or probably shield this move right now that I'm throwing. 
not a problem at all. I'm saving my overquill with a slippage of HP. Opponent goes for fly or maybe potential close combat. I'm just shielding it to be safe. Just a close combat, no problem. I think for me the best option is to go for mud slap farm down. So I'm going for that. Not a close combat, not a problem at all. Opponent goes into his taxi croak. Pretty interesting one. Why he is throwing that Pokemon, but I'm going at least for a body slam here. I could go for maybe the dead earth power, but I didn't want to risk anything, so that's why I'm going here for body slam. That won't get the KO. But I get the mud slap farm down. No way. Didn't expect it that. Will he throw back his Staraptor? No. I have to go here for body slam. <laughs> Didn't want to risk anything, that's why I went for body slam. And right now, only the drift limb is left. And I can get that mud slap far down. No way. Gastrodon kills two flying types. <laughs> Uh, which Pokemon I'm getting a Trill Bar? Unfortunately, no shiny, but still, it's a good Pokemon to get. Maybe a Hundo would be nice, but it will be... I don't know if this weekend or next weekend will be the Go Battle uh, weekend thing. <laughs> I don't know, but at least I will be playing then. And uh, maybe I'm getting a nice IV Pokemon. So right now, into the second streak. First streak... Went totally perfect, or uh, not totally perfect, but just fine. One lose, it's always good. Um, yeah, we're just going into the second streak. First match. And we're going right now against... Roundhaus Phonic. Or something like that. Starting Overquill against Shadow Gliscor. Um... This could be quite a difficult one because it because of the Shadow Glide score, it will hit me quite hard. But at least I can go for a yeah, pretty huge Aqua Tail farm down that does quite some damage. He goes for Night Slash. No, he has Aerial Oh no. Why does that? Well, he does. The opponent has Arrowways on uh, his Glide score. But at least I'm going here for an Aquatil to be shielded. Going for two Poison Stings, switching into Gastrodon. He will definitely throw an Earthquake here, so I will just shield. <laughs> I think that's the best option. No, still. Why does he has Night Slash Arrowways? Move set on that thing. Ah, oh, he wins the CMP. No way. Uh, he will throw, I think, a Night Slash. Yeah, that does a little bit of chip damage. Not a huge amount, but still, it's quite annoying. I'm going here for Body Slam. That KO's the. No! He shields it. Why is he shielding it? Oh, maybe he's just completely core broken by Gastrodon in the back. That could be a possibility. At least the opponent goes for area ways. Oh, that does much more damage. I cannot even get that farm down. No, Overquill cannot even KO him. Oh no, you have to be kidding me. I know it's a Night Slash that won't deal a huge amount of damage. Switching into Drift Blim. Opponent. Goes into his Frostless. I have to go for Shadow Ball. I have no other option here. I think I saved a one of those Aquatils on my Overquill. Not sure about that. But if I'm making it here to a Mystical Fire. No, I, I don't think if this is a Shadow Ball, I'm just dead. Yes, it's the Shadow Ball. Oh, no. Yes, I had the Aquatil. 
but it wouldn't be enough. Really nice blade from the opponent. Couldn't do much against it. But he wasn't that core broken by uh, Strodon. Mm. At least. <laughs> uh, right now, second match, second streak against Chuli Poly 1. <laughs> Going Overquill into Frostless. That's nice because Overquill can pretty easily outpace the thing. He go, She goes for. Ooh. Trapian. That means. I can go for Gastrode on here. I'm just letting this attack go. Hopefully I'm not getting a defense drop. Crunch, I can tank. No, getting a defense drop. That's not good. It's pretty painful. Going here for body slam at least. She won't shield this, I think. No. Yeah, but I think it means that I have to shield this move. Yeah, I will shield it. She goes for crunch, not a problem at all. And I'm just continuing with those mud slaps. She will throw back her um, frostless, I expect. I will throw here my earth power. Seeing how this will go. Get shielded, switching into Drift Blim. I don't want to risk anything, so... Yeah, I think this is the safest option. She goes for Avalanche, not a problem. Going for Mystical Fire. She has to shield it, otherwise she will be dead. No, she lets it go. Ooh, in the bag. She has uh, Hisuian Electrode, and she knows that she has to shield it, otherwise she's dead. Wild Charge gets the KO. Going into Gastrodon. Look at that Mud Slap damage. Going for Body Slam that will definitely be shielded. Continuing with those mud slaps. Okay, this mud slap unfortunately didn't get the hit, but that's fine. I think she made it to a back to back wild charge. No, she goes for energy ball. Ah, yes, I can make it to the aqua tail. Didn't want to risk a wild charge at me, so this aqua tail gets the KO and I'm winning. But the opponent, yeah, I don't think wild charge wouldn't be enough. To KO my uh, overquill. Which is still pretty interesting. But I think no one is throwing ever an overquill. That's why I'm doing it. Uh, right now into the third match of the second streak. So right now against Dominus Aram. Going overquill into Frostless. Um, yeah, this is still fine. I hope he stays in. Yes, perfect. Oh, he can outpace me. Oh, I didn't expect that, honestly. <laughs> Going to shield his avalanche. Oh, huge mistake from the opponent. He is throwing in the uh, Gliscor. It's just a huge mistake because I'm having Aquatil here. And I can go here for another Aquatil. <laughs> Will this be a shield? No. Go for one Poison Sting, switching into Gastrodon. Yeah, if this is an Earthquake, then it's just fine. I don't really care. It's the Earthquake, I can tank it pretty easily. To be honest. Um... Yeah, I'm just keeping up with uh, Gastrode on here. No, getting a little bit of lag that I didn't like. Going here for Earth Power. He will definitely shield it, I think. Oh, getting a defense fell. That could be something interesting here. 
winning the CMP, going for the Aquatil. If that's if this gets the hit, then it's perfect. Aquatil. Okay, at least I got the shield from the opponent, so that means I don't need to shield this move from him. Overquill did his job. Still, it's not a, a very good overquill. Uh, he's going for Avalanche. But I don't think I can hex down even with that uh, defense drop. No. In the back, opponent has a Gastrodon. But maybe he has uh, gotten that Water Pulse move on it, so I have to be careful. Going for Shadow Ball at least. Yeah, so I think he may have that move. So that's why I'm going here just for the Mystical Fire. I think that's fine. It won't get the KO yet. And I think he won't be able to KO me at this point with just the Water Pearls. That's why I'm doing this. No, it's just an Earth Power. Oh, not a problem at all. Yes, I can make it to a Mystical Fire just before he makes it to his move. And that means I'm getting the KO and winning this match. And that's perfect. Um, yeah, but opponent had a decent team. Right now into the fourth match of the second streak. So we're going against Gazukadu. <laughs> Interesting name. We're going Overquill into... Oh no, not a Gastrodon. I will switch Gastrodon into Gastrodon. Okay, she's staying in. Really like that. Do I want to shield this move? I will shield it. Just to be safe. No, she baits nicely with a body slam. Okay, she throws in her uh, Frostless. Very happy to get that Pokemon right now. Going for Earth Power. She shields it. Not a problem. Getting a defense fell. No way. Do I want to launch an... Yes, I want to launch another one of those Earth Powers. Really excited for that one. A little bit of over farming, just a tiny bit. Going for another Earth Power. I really want to KO that Frostless here. Earth Power gets another shield. Right now, it's time for the Body Slam. That That's just the thing that I have to do here. Switching into Overquill. I know it's a risky move. And it's not the best move I'm doing here. But yeah, I think it's uh, good that I went for this. Oh, she can just completely KO me. Okay, that's not the good thing that I really wanted, but okay, not a problem. I will wait my switch timer. Then I will throw in my Drift Blim. That KOs the Frostless. Two, three, four. Oh no, she made it to an Hydro Cannon. And I probably cannot switch and this Shadow Ball won't be enough. Yeah, I've lost. Can I switch? No. Yeah, that means I will be dead. <laughs> Hydro Cannon gets the KO. And I won't be able to kill her Castrodon. So really nice play from her. And I made a little bit of a mistake because if I just went for one uh one more mud slap before that frostless died then she probably will throw a move then overquill could get the fire down and wouldn't get that huge hit at the overquill <laughs> so yeah then the match could turn up a little bit more differently mm. i expect at least but yeah still uh 
It's okay. Last match of the second streak against Radu. Radu, I don't know. Over Quill into Drifflim. Okay, not a problem. I'm just continuing here. Going straight for the Shadow Ball here. Seeing how this will go. Shadow Ball gets the shield. I don't need to shield, honestly. Uh, icy Wind or Mystical Fire, it's an Icy Wind. That means I cannot make a potential catch here. No! Okay. <laughs> um, there was a little bit of lag that I didn't like, but at least I save my Overquill here and opponent will go... Oh no, why am I... Oh, I pressed the not now, oh my gosh. Uh, just shielding a useless move right now. Okay, my mistake. But I pr maybe sometimes I don't need to press a move, but yeah. I, I think I just pressed the not now button, but at least Shadow Ball. And I will go for an entire hex farm down here. I think that's fine to go for. He goes for another Earth Power. This time getting the defense fell, still not a problem. <laughs> Going to just straight up for the Shadow Ball. Not making any risky moves here. Shadow Ball gets the shield. Um, yeah, we'll just let this go. No! It's making a perfect catch. On his Lucario. Yeah, Shadow Ball at least almost KO'd and I can go for Mud Slap. But this could be quite difficult. I have to make it then to an Aqua Tail and right now to a back to back Earth Power. Just letting this go. He goes for Icy Wind to lower my attack. Going here for Earth Power. I think at least I can make it to two of those Earth Powers. So not a problem at all. Earth Power. Oh, that's absolutely nothing and not getting a defense fell. That's quite annoying. If he goes right now for an Icy Wind, that won't be able to KO me. So I can make it to another Earth Power. Icy Wind, I can save that. Going for another Earth Power. Why not? Maybe this time I'm getting a defense fell. Switching. Going to shield it. Icy wind. No, I didn't want to risk it. Going for an aqua tail that won't be enough to KO the drift limb yet. Almost. One Poison Sting, will one Mud Slap be enough? No opponent can make it to an Icy Wind. Oh, that's really unfortunate. But still, very nice match. I really enjoyed this one, even that I've lost it. Um. Yes, so let's claim our, our rewards and going into that third streak. So first match of the third streak, right now 6 wins out of 10, that's okay, hopefully we'll win at least 2 more, maybe 3, but right now against Zelm for an N, I don't know, starting Overquill into Frostless, um, yeah it is that Frostless can outpace me, or not. Um, at least I outpaced I her with an avalanche and winning the CMP, really nice. Shadow Ball gets the shield. Going to shield this move. She goes for avalanche, no problem. I think she could 
go for maybe a potential catch. No, she can outpace me at this point. I hate that. When uh, those things can happen. Just going for an aqua tail bait. I think that's uh, the safest option for me. Aqua tail. Won't be shielded. Making it to another aqua tail. I don't care if she KOs me. Oh, this time I got the shield. Um, so eventually I made a little bit more progress. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now I have to focus. I think best option is to throw in my Gastrodon. And just go for that complete farm. Then maybe after this move I will switch into Driftlim. Oh, it's a simultaneous switch. She's throwing her Doxy Croak. No, I'm losing the CMP. No, you're just kidding me. Oh my gosh, no way. Shadow Ball gets an instant KO. No, you're just kidding me. I have to go here for Body Slam. Body slam almost gets the KO, can go for one mud slap. In the back, no, she was just... Yeah, just weak to, in the back, weak to Gastrodon. If I just went for Earth Power, then I think I could finish her off It went Rift Flame. But I didn't expect it that she would switch. Yeah, that's my mistake. Completely. So right now into the second match of the third streak. Hopefully we'll win with this one. But yeah, we will just see. Against channel number three. Okay. Overquill into Sh Shadow Shiny Gliscor. Oh, he's just flexing. This guy is just a flexer. Going to for an Aqua Tail here. But the problem is Gliscor is more of that uh, annoying type of Pokemon where I cannot do anything against. But right now opponent switches into his Toxicroak. So he gives me, I think, a free f compl complete f free farm down because he goes right now for Mud Bomb. It won't deal a huge amount of damage. Yeah, maybe I have to shield at least once, but I don't really care. No, I KO'd the Toxicroak. That's really nice. Going here for Body Slam. I think this will get a shield from the opponent. Perfect. Going here for another Body Slam. Will this one be get a shield? I don't know. But we will see. It's Body Slam. Uh, didn't got the shield, but not a problem. Mm -hmm. Switching into Overquill, going to Shield. Oh, it's an Aerial Ace, that's annoying. Um, Yeah, you made it to a back-to-back, -back. goes for probably for another Aerial Ace. Going to Overfarm here, making it to the Shadow Ball. That gets an instant KO here. So I'm really excited for this. Shadow Ball over Quill gets the KO on Frostless. Ec going for an Aqua Tail on the Shadow, Gly Shadow Shiny Gliscor. And I'm just KOing him. Don't flex with my team, otherwise you just get punished. So yeah, it's perfect. We've won. And let's hop right now into the third match of the third streak. And yeah, hopefully we'll win. So right now into the, I don't know, I'm, I lost count. Uh, I think third match of the third streak. <laughs> Going over Quill into Gastrodon. No, I don't like this. Going into my own Gastrodon. Gastrodon against Gastrodon. Opponent by Barrel. Uh, okay, pretty interesting Pokemon.
Do I want to shield? I know it's a surf. You know, I will, I will shield. Why not? I can shield once here. Because I really want to KO this white barrel. And if I win switch, I can throw in Drift Blim against his Castrodon. So that's perfect then. Mud Slap, perfect. Perocli. Uh, I, I really don't know what that Pokemon can do. Going for Earth Power. Oh, that did quite some uh, hits. Surprised me. I, I honestly don't know what kind of attack this will be. Anyway, why does that thing has Aerial Waves? Wait, that's... <laughs> wait. I didn't know that a cat could have Aerial Waves. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, yeah, he goes for uh, another area wave. Okay, he switches into his Castrodon, already expected that. I'm just going to lower his attack and going for Mystical Fire. He may shield it, I don't care. But I have here the advantage. Do I want to shield? No, yes, why not? Oh, he has water pulse. Okay, good to know. Going here for another mystical fire. I want to lower his attack so water pulse cannot deal a huge amount of damage. It's good that I've shielded it. <laughs> Go a little bit more painful. Lure. The expected mystical fire. The opponent just left the game. So because I don't want to take a huge amount of time to throw a charge move into Trey Flame going for that hex farm down. And throws back his Broccoli, but maybe for the final video of uh, this cup, maybe Broccoli can be f cool to use. But it's a power fight, so yeah, that's quite a bad one. But I think I had a Shadow Glemmeow somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited. Didn't know that that Pokemon uh, had area ways. So right now into the fourth match of the third streak. Seeing how this will go. Um, we have made two wins and only one lose in the streak. So maybe one more win. We can at least make it to 10 wins. And maybe we will do that. But we will just see. Right now we're going against uh, Azor Skies. Starting Overquill into Gastrodon, not again a Gastrodon. Switching into my own Gastrodon. Uh, I think she left. <laughs> she left the game, oh. Or she got some errors. At least I'm going for Earth Power here. This gets a shield. She may throw her Earth Power. That's fine. No, she just goes for Body Slam. Ah, oh, that's fine. All. Ah, oh, she wins the CMP. No, not a problem at all. I can just uh, let this go. Body slam gets the KO. I will wait my switch timer a little bit, then I will switch into my Drift Blim. And going just for the complete farm down. She is noticing she throws in her Gliscor. I'm going here for a Shadow Ball on my Drift Blim. She lets it go, that's perfect. That means I can go here for Overquill. For that Aqua Tail, will she shield it to throw in maybe a very strong Earthquake? I don't know. She is going to shield it. Um, do I want to shield? It's an Overquill video, so you know I'm just shielding it. Maybe not the smartest move, but you know... Sometimes I have to do 
this kind of things. So she goes for Night Slash, a huge amount of damage. Maybe next one I will shield. At least I over farmed quite a lot. Night Slash, I'm shielding this time. She goes into Gastrodon, going for Shadow Ball. Just nicely before that Mud Slap hits me. Shadow Ball gets the KO. In the back, she is Hisui and Snee. No, just a Sneezler. <laughs> Noticed in my video with uh, Shadow Sneezler, I was talking about just Shadow Hisui and Sneezler the entire time. <laughs> But she finishes my overquill going for Triflim. She won't be able to KO me here. Go for one hex and I'm getting that KO. So you know that's perfect. Really like it. Um Yeah, so already three wins in the streak. Hopping I think into the last match of this video. Mm. I'm really excited for it, so hopefully it ends well. But this uh, match was very, very nice. Overquill did his job. Right now, Overquill into Frostless. I think this time I will do it a little bit more differently. We'll make it to a Shadow Ball, and then I'm going to win the CMP, and just going for. Okay, so lost a little bit here of recording. But yeah, he shielded my Aquatil, shielded his Avalanche. So right now I can go to make it to a perfect Shadow Ball. That gets the KO. That Overquilt just did it. No, I, want, I don't want to throw in here with this. So I'm just going into Gastrodon. Very interesting that he's staying in, but probably the back as well yes in the back opponent has an impellion going for a body slam here seeing how the opponent will respond just a little bit of a bait move he is going to shield and he commits the match so that's perfect really love it And uh, yeah, four wins. So 10 wins overall. And uh, yeah, really like it. I re I've really enjoyed this, uh, those battles. So this Alolan Fall picks, it's okay. And my opinion about Overquill, it's very fun. Really fun to use. I didn't get a really very low ranked, but yeah, it's very good. I like the spamminess of Aquatail and the powerful things of Shadow Ball. So yeah, I will definitely recommend this if you play Overquill in the future or at least have one. So yeah, but anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely press that like and subscribe button. It always helps me. Hopefully you have a great day. See you in the next video. Peace out, guys.